Hello, I'm Lance Zimmerman with the Cattle Facts Closing Bell, brought to you by Zoetis. USDA reported September hay prices continue to show that improved moisture conditions through late summer are pressuring feedstuff values. The U.S. average alfalfa hay price was $195 per ton for the month, down $27 from the May high. The U.S. average price for other hay was $140 per ton, down $22 from the April high. Even with these price declines, cattle producers are likely seeing regional differences in hay values. Weighted average regional alfalfa hay prices are in a full range of more than $213 per ton in the Central Plains to $151 in the North. The range in alfalfa hay prices from high to low across all regions is $62 per ton, which is actually less than the three-year average of $79 and it's considerably lower than the widest range during that period at $123 per ton. However, it's important to remember that U.S. average alfalfa hay prices are still $29 higher than the three-year average. The U.S. other hay price is seeing a wider regional spread at $95 per ton. Hay excluding alfalfa is the cheapest in the southeast at $95, while producers in the west are paying $190 per ton. That price is only $4 cheaper than alfalfa hay in the West region. The $95 per ton spread in regional other hay prices is $10 less than last year, but $12 wider than the three-year average. The price series shows that U.S. hay prices are dropping on average. However, some regions of the country are considering, experiencing considerably larger price breaks than others. Alfalfa and other hay prices continue to be the highest in the West, where drought conditions remain quite strong. The price data provides confirmation of earlier USDA annual hay production estimates. The 2013 government forecast for alfalfa hay production would make this year's harvest the second smallest on record since 1954, while other hay production was expected to improve to its largest level since 2004. Current prices and production forecasts suggest prices for other hay may have more room for price reductions, while alfalfa prices could find considerably more support around $190 to $200 per ton on a U.S. average basis. The fed cattle market was $1 higher in the south this week at $129 per hundredweight. In the north, cash trade was $1 to $2 stronger at $129 to $131 per hundredweight, while dress sales added $4 to $6 with trade ranging from $203 to $205 per hundredweight. Trade volumes were moderate to active with good buyer interest. Feeder cattle values were $1 to $3 higher this week while calf prices advanced two to as much as $10 higher. Lightweight calves received higher markups with recent rains in the Central Plains increasing demand from winter grazing programs. Slaughter cow values were steady to $2 softer for the week, and the Erner Berry Choice Box Beef Cutout quote was $2.45 higher, while select carcasses added $3.93. Asking prices moved higher throughout the week as packers passed higher fed cattle prices from the previous week on to meat buyers. Corn prices increased this week as additional export sales were reported and moisture in parts of the Corn Belt slowed harvest. Thank you for watching and remember to visit CattleFacts.com to become a member and receive the latest market news and analysis. The beef business has never been for the faint of heart. For more than 40 years, Cattle Facts has led the way. We're the time-proven leader in research, analysis, and information. Equipped with the industry's most powerful database, become a member at CattleFacts.com.